bleeding for no spoilerinos. Man. Goodbye. Ah, uh, English. Confirm. Have you played Stanley Parable before? Yes. Oh, so is it gonna like... Make settings for me? So I see less of the same stuff? Hopefully. I'm hungry! Cop. Adjust this... Adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Still visible. Wait. Oh. Okay, wait. How barely visible is barely visible enough so that like I I still see things. Leave it mid. Uh, you guys can see it well still. I like, barely see it now. No, I like barely see it here, but maybe I should put it like here. Like here. I'm not looking at the chair, what? Leave it mid please, I can't see. Oh, it's fine. Enter the current time. Oh. Uh... 8... 52? Okay. Wait, I put seven? Did I? Wait, what? What? How? I'm pretty sure I put eight. Wait, really? Oh my god, how did I change it? I'm hungry. Did I restart? Wait, I put seven? Game ruined? Okay, wait, what the f... I had one job. I had one fucking job. One second. Ah! Thank you, just one, with a good sub. Thank you, quest in there. Uh... Start the game, please! Okay. Fifty-three... Eight. Alright. Now it's fine. Hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave clock set at 12 and then call it a day. What? <laughs> But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. I mean, of course! <laughs> That's how I know that you care about this experience, you're, p you're paying attention. Of course! What? I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. <laughs> Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. Alright, I'll let you get back to the video game now. What? I wanna set the clock to my favorite time, let's fucking go, I wanna do it. Since he let me, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> it was my favorite time. Ah. 
for 20. Eh? Eh? Huh? Ah, 4.20 a.m. Your favorite time of day. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 4.20 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 4.20 a.m.? Inaccurate. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be said. <laughs> it's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. <laughs> <laughs> mm, perhaps I can invent One some new sliders to gather new data on <laughs> you. <laughs> Please do. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. I wanna know! <laughs> Where's my boob slider? Can I make my boobs bigger? Listen, I'm curious. I want to know what happens. Wait, is that an ending? <laughs> Please adjust the slider. Okay. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. <laughs> Please adjust the slider until the number 5 becomes the number 9. <laughs> 9. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. But... Okay. Which one of two made up words below is most appealing to you? Occuboin Carl? Scrump tush. Sc what? Scrump tush. Um, hello? I'm looking for a person who asks. <laughs> Scrump tush. Please don't adjust the slider. Do you know what time it is right now? No. Is the time that is right now the correct time? No. What time is... What is time anyway? No. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? I'm honey. Yes. Why people happy hello Annie? <laughs> help! No help! Will you come back to visit me? No. What? No, he, he doesn't want to play with me anymore. Wait, one last time. I'm gonna restart one last time. One last time. I want to visit him again. <laughs> Bad ending. <laughs> Such. What time is it? Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't, nobody knows anything. <laughs> you and I don't even know each other, we're like strangers. Sure, I've just... I've adjusted all of the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. <laughs> And neither of us know what time it is. <laughs> I guess some settings are just in unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. Oh. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. No, don't leave! Fuck, I'm, I've been having so much fun. You like being alone, don't you? I don't! That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. No! I don't want to be alone. 
Um, that's not true. Well, it's time for me to leave. <laughs> There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. What? Wait, really? No, wait, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Come back. Come back. I want to see him again. We're friends now. <gasps> Motherfucker, he actually left. Paris social to a game, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Man. Okay. Fuck. <sighs> Begin the game, I guess. Should I make myself smaller? This, ah. this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat yeah. at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others Very might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Given the weekends? I guess. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, let me set some settings, because it, it sounds loud as fuck. This is the story of... Oh, it plays the music! Let's put everything at like 60... 68, yeah? Okay, I'm fine with narrator being louder though. 68. Alright. Anything new here? Honestly, I... I forgot this game now. Wait, I need to make myself smaller. Is this good? Chat? This should be good, right? Mute alerts, please? Okay, chat, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll mute alerts then, because it's gonna be narrated. But I'll read everything if you I'm stop and stop. Thank you so Miss much, JC Dude. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, 13 months. And Hyperball, thank you, 10 months. Thank you, Doglet, for a year. Happy one year. And uh, thank you, this one and Krasimir again. Yeah, okay, I'm muting the alerts for the game now. Alright. Immersion. We are immersed. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Sudge. Oh. Number one dad. That's you, Chad. Nothers. Like, can I can I put you guys like lower, like here? I think it's gonna look better. Okay.
meeting room. I hate Mondays. Whenever I click the mouse, it does the When Stanley came to a set sound. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait, that, that was the left, right? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, I think we've read all these. Something looks different though. Or am I tripping? Ah! Wait, is this different now? Who <laughs> moved my desk? Hire somebody to fire. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. True. What is, what is this? Do not alter without consulting my well, whiteboard manager. Rip Franz? Who is that? Synergize core value. Shift global market pay rad. Monetize free to play. <laughs> Good one. Whoa. Broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, Monka W. Let's go upstairs. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast. Money crisp. Extreme bathrooms. Nice bathroom. Money. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer <laughs> luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Why is everything dark now? Guys, we can replay these parts probably so we can, like, fuck around later. I just want to see what is new. Why is it so fucking dark here? Okay. Spooky game. I don't think you did play it properly. Descending what? deeper into the we building, did. We Stanley tried to get all he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Wait, this is something new, I think. Unless I'm not remembering things. Stanley <gasps> walked straight ahead through the large Fuck door you, that read Mind Control what? Facility. Okay. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. 
Did he have the strength to find out? Let's find out. Dude, I, I swear I don't remember anything, almost. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. I can't Each jump. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Sanj. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Robert Lamar. No, he refused to believe no. it. He couldn't <laughs> accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No way, dude. Oh god, this but room. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold uh... reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Death? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Is it? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, Let's even go. as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I beat hold? the game! But as sunlight He'd streamed run. into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but Stairs happiness. Down. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Poggers. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was the exactly wild. the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Touch and grass. Stanley <laughs> was happy. He touched the grass. Achievement unlock beat the game. <laughs> Wait, I can't believe that's. That's like the actual ending if you'd like just follow everything straight. Cause like the first time I played, I was like fucking around from the start. So I got like a lot of endings before that. Wait, hold on. Should I do you guys want me to do the the shaders on myself or should I just keep it like this? Cause it might get dark. No? Keep? Okay. Close door. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I remember this game being dank when there was like a... There when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
like when I was going. This was not the correct the way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <coughs> ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Amazing. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No purse. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> No purse. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Dead. <laughs> Wait, there's an ending if I close the door? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. Um, I will be happy. Stanley waited. How am I gonna Hours get passed. food? How then days. I... Had what? years gone by? He no longer had the how ability am I gonna to pee? tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told drawer. what to do. Now it's His just drawer. a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Oh. It came. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, left or right, Chad? Left or right? Right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beauty. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. No purse? This looks like the fucking... That, that horror game that I played. No purse. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. No purse, no purse, no purse. Achievement unlocked, you can't Look, Stanley, jump? I think perhaps we've got <laughs> Wait! Off, but in his eagerness to what? prove that he okay. is in control of the story and no can't one gets jump. to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform okay. and plunged okay, okay. to his death. Sorry. Good um. job, Stanley. <laughs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I thought they prevented me from like falling down because All like I just got an achievement that you can't jump. Mean? So Stanley I thought, decided to go to okay, the meeting whatever. room. Perhaps he had <laughs> simply missed a memo. Lost to gravity. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No purse. Okay, this time we won't jump down. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000? I already did twice. 
Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in Should someone else there? is difficult, but the fact is that the story Ta has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are yep. you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Yep. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To nope. show you something beautiful. Look, no. let me prove it. No. Let me prove that I'm on your side. No. Give me a chance. No. You, motherfucker, disappeared from the menu. We were having so much fun. I'm not gonna cooperate with you. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Why is there so many doors that I can't go to? Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. But I like the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. <gasps> Blue door! All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining yes. the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Give me back Work my guy me. from the me menu. you absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Whoa, what the fuck? This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh. The game is borking. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback there's here. There's like, so far, there's like no changes. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Let's go. What? Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard? <laughs> what? 91,000 doors opened! Jesus, did you know that 21% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door? <laughs> How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Complete again, compete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career? <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, this is you. 98.9% of players are more attractive than Stanley. Dead rat is a flying? This is your superior? Now. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You let's wouldn't mind go. taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Yeah, let's go. In this game, <laughs> the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. 
And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Right. It's a very meaningful game. All, right, let's go. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But I of love course, kids. the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Nah. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <coughs> you heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? I love them. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Ah. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, well, since my game was so awful, me. why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Wait, <laughs> what? Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stan? Wait, we played this backstory? game. <laughs> what is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for what some sort fuck? of twisted erotic purpose. What? Hmm. Yes, How? that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Wait, this thing is new, right? Because last time it was Minecraft. Unless they... I wonder... How did they know I played this? Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. What? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Uh, ah! oh. Attack on Titan. Thank goodness, <laughs> Stanley. What a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing. That big open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. <laughs> you can just go in any... Oh. Oh. oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. No, nah, but I want to play this game. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Where are you taking me? What? Wonderful. Rocket See, this League. is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Where can I go? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the no, bases and do a touchdown I together. Like this game. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Door Stanley, check. here's the ball. Have fun. I, I want to play it. And I still can't jump. You want me to play with the ball? Okay, I'll play with the ball. Wait, do I have to get a goal? Oh, wee! Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Yes. Is it better than my miserable little story yeah, that I worked than your so game. hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball... Hold on, what are you doing? Oh! Uh, Jesus! Oh. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without <laughs> me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. No, wait. Bring the guy back. Wait. Wait. I'm scared. Wait, I'm fucking scared. Back rooms? Filing 
cabinets. It's dark over there. I don't want to go where it's dark. Chat. Help. Ah! Where am I? Oh boy, I hope nothing... I hope nothing attacks me here, cause... Okay, okay, we found the light. Fuck. Ah, it's my room. Wait, what? Eh? Wait, no? Is this not it? I wonder what he found. <laughs> if what he wanted Jesus. was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Oh my god. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He <gasps> needs me. He needs Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The, the end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Huh? Help me. Come on. We were friends. Oh, it restarted the game. No, it's... Lol, she's the girl from the no boobs meme. <laughs> yeah, that's Stanley so funny. had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Was it? Wait, I can hold up. I remember that I can somehow. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Amazing. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Oh, are you sick of this gag? <laughs> ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just What's to have heard happening? all the narration? <laughs> oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really <laughs> miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. 
In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other options so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. There's nothing else. Help! 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 Yes! Help! Mr. Narrator! Come back! I can't pick, guys! It doesn't work! I'm sorry for flash banging you. Wait, should I? Should I restart them? Wait. Nothing's happening. Can I go through somewhere? I can't go here. I can't go here. Nope. I can't jump. I can't jump. This is the story of a man. Wait. No boobs. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Wait, did I just start like the whole game over or is this fine? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's fine? Okay, okay. New content! Oh, new content? What's what does that mean? Up? New content. New content! Hey, let me go. Oi! Move the box. Damn, this content looks amazing, not gonna lie. Whoa. Whoa. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Hello! And ah. thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Jesus. 2013. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded <laughs> upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Amazing. Happy for you guys. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands <laughs> the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Epic. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. New content. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Me too. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Hello? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, uh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, nice. it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let's go! New content, baby. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Let's go. A room. All right. All right. Jump Let's see. circle. It's the jump circle. Oh my God! We can finally jump. 
Wait, do I have to jump? Jump, 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 jump. I'm tired of jumping! <laughs> that is? That's it? There's the content? Amazing. Love it. I can see where is, the money went. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? <laughs> Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? I mean... If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to <laughs> 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Ah. Very good. Yes. Let's go. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. How big is this fucking place that we're in, though? Thank you for enjoying new That's content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap <laughs> expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says... Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. Oh, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> Worth it's waiting fault, for 10 years. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. <laughs> what do you say, friend? I want... I want new content! No, don't take me back! Oh, wait, huh? Huh? This doesn't look like... the same. Monka? Psst! Stanley! <gasps> come over here! In the vent! Sussy. I want to show you something! <laughs> what are you gonna show me? Oh! Coffee nut? You want me to jump here? Ow! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take Whoa, a look. Is this Elden Ring? Oh! I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Park. This is so pretty. Skyrim. <laughs> this is a comfy place. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the <laughs> game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Oh, mm, yeah. Memory, sweet memory. Ah, uh, 2013 when Stanley Parable was released. <laughs> Our first kiss, my first car. The release of Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> uh, 2013. Wait, what if I set time to 2013? 
at the start. Shit! I should have tried. I can't do it anymore because it doesn't let me. The original remake, Stanley Parable. Was this linguist identify fifteen thousand year old ultra concert words? The Washington Post. Researchers identify two dozen words whose sound and meaning has survived the past fifteen thousand years. What? Business bloggers at Harvard Business Review discuss a variety of business topics including managing people, innovation, leadership, and more. Amazing. Let's hear. Good times! <laughs> I love this. <laughs> In loving memory, Stanley Parable. The first dollar they made. Smile because it happened. <laughs> A trip down memory lane. <laughs> Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know about this one. Go outside. Don't play for five years. <laughs> Wait, that's an actual achievement? Shit. I only tried this game like last year though, so like I didn't have to wait that long. New video game releasing today. Creators surprisingly down to earth. Designer had 50% off. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. Oh, what's here? I can't even sit there. What's and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less games. than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how Robot. grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was <laughs> all of them. And Power now, games. it's nothing. Uh it's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A no. lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. It's it's okay. I still like it. Down or up? Memory zone maintenance. Okay. Person of the year. Was this? Twenty nine. So much stuff here. How big is this house? Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. <laughs> it didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust Nine in the hallowed nine. halls of beloved video game memories. Uh, what is this? What is this sad content? Ikuri, thank you for nine months. Wait, can I go? Wait, what opened just now? Something just opened. Was it this door? I can't go there. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. Oh. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. 
I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? I don't know. Tell me. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online Steam. video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collected Steam down here. <laughs> Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Guys, how do I get cocked achievement off of my Steam profile? Honestly, I could not be bothered oh, no. to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor unfunny. and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. What the unfunny. fuck? Funny? No, you're I'm funny. No, funny. you're funny. You're I'm funny. To make a serious work of art. No, no. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags I to insert into the narration. Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. You're funny. Oh. This is so depressing. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always... Well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well... I always thought he'd Why are people so serious? Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. Sad. I feel like a fit. Wait, what's that? Please leave a good wait. Wait, wait, yeah. who's that? Like wait, I let these people who's down. Da who's that? The Stanley Michelle. Parable isn't quite as sterling wait, as I always remember. Dab gives codes? Wait, that's a dev? Wait, really? Dude! <laughs> this game is so fun! Thank you for the comments! <laughs> Thank you, just one for gifting the sub. Oh my god, I just noticed, yeah, I'm sorry, I was so immersed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm enjoying the game. <laughs> the new content. <laughs> dev, these nuts. <laughs> okay. Chat, don't be mean. Ah! What's this one? The river. Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. What? A skip button? Well, well, yes. Drowned. <laughs> yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. <laughs> Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the standing Mon That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Any act like you're having fun. <laughs> fun fa I am having fun. This is the new content. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable but, is a game for the people. But, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what no. they're going to get. What? Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, <laughs> we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story, and the choices, or what <laughs> have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, what? at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, <laughs> that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until 
until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why uh. I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, okay. and therefore He's by becoming it is. Ah. Uh. Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was <laughs> plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound I wanna such listen. ruminations. Not that. Okay. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! 12 You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're oh, really, the door truly is gone. getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door you is think? gone. It's completely gone. Wait, I've it looked is at gone. it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. Oh, Stanley. Oh. You're back. You're back. No, the oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to well, speak with. It was with. glowing. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would Why is it glowing? It's exactly debated. the same as always. Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just... Oh, no. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've <laughs> been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Thank you, Have you ever sat down in one place and not move for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. Sanji. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I'm I lost sorry. it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust simultaneously. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation. I just like listening to his voice. Wait, he's gone. Come back! Oh. Did he die? What am I hoping to see here? <laughs> ah. Stop. Stop it. Make it stop! But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Oh my god, where he's are still the going. Jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, the they jokes? gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us! It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But yeah, then, what the he's fuck? talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain <laughs> us, now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency, it's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. 
As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands Fuck that say everything people. and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze yeah. Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want <laughs> all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. <laughs> and then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires. Every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring One it into guy. being. <laughs> Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with Aware. unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this... We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect... I think I prefer when he talks. The end is never 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 the end How long are we gonna be here? Hello? What the fuck is happening? How are we still alive? Let's go out? Oh! Let's go touch grass. Jesus. That's a very long time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Touch grass. Mm. But can we get out of here? Please. Please. Uh. What? Wait, what? What is this? Okay. I didn't sign up to play a horror game. Come on. <laughs> uh, wait! We're free! We're in the desert. Wait, does the button still work? It doesn't. What the fuck happened? Okay. I need some water. I need water. Chad. Where do I find water? It's been a million years. But now... Is this the end? Did we just survive the apocalypse? Where do I go? Where is my narrator? Why did he die fast? Why didn't I die? Ah! Oh. Now I died. Wait, that was it! <laughs> Open world... Wait, where's narrator? I can't believe he got one guide and now... All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. New content? <laughs> that was just a bad dream. 
<laughs> New content! Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Wait, is it new, new, new content or is it new, previous new? It should be new, new. New, new content. Let's go. New, new. <laughs> Whoa. Elevator again. You see, content. Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. What? The original we didn't Stanley even Parable finish was a landmark, it. and any new Thank content for it should live up to that <laughs> legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I, I say we take it one step even further. Thank you for Which all the codes. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Can't be worse than Overwatch 2, right? This is so fancy. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground and up. Never Why the there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. <laughs> New Rooms Investor Showcase? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much it's catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? Yo, what wait, who it? Even... Wait, hold on. Wait, Me? I'm sorry. Uh, wait, Tubbs. <laughs> Tubbs, thank you for the raid. Wait, isn't that the person with the wicked avatar? <laughs> Wicked. But the Stanley Parable 2. Have now a nice day. Thank you so much. It's a good statement. I hope you have a good right stream. There. It's future oriented. I love it your wicked demon. Progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. <laughs> oh. Potential. Keep dry. Dubs. <laughs> Welcome, guys. We're experiencing the new content of Stanley Parable. What's good? Hope you're well. I'm good. I'm, I'm enjoying the game very much. Of painting... The ga? Nice. Okay. What's this? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky. You and I. Can't jump. Two. New content is out. New content part two is in. <laughs> Boring sections of the chart. Cool red section of the chart. <laughs> Old post busted. New hotness. I love it. I love it. It looks so modern. Amazing. What does TSP mean? Tab tablespoon? Red is new, cool. The color red! <laughs> win win. Yeah, dude, if you make a s second game, it's always better. Like, Overwatch 2, Team Fortress 2, 2, Stanley Parable 2. All of them look good. Nice. 2? Stanley <laughs> Parable 2? <laughs> Two. I like two. <laughs> Wait, there's two of us now. We got a friend. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure <laughs> that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, two eyes, then surely the two game ears, will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development <laughs> is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Two. 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 Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Doom 2, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> hey, where's Overwatch 2? Come on. Two. 
This way to the show floor. New features! Can't wait to see them. Why is there a new bus? New content! <laughs> Last stop, new content. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, pop, pop, pop! Thank you, the Wait, thank you for the gift of sub tier 3. What the heck? <laughs> I just noticed. Thank you so Here much. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh, wait, there is a big Stanley. Wait, can we see his face now? The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. New. Oh my god, that's so epic. Hear your name in the game. All right. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and <laughs> validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. The Isn't God. that wonderful? Say it. Name. <laughs> Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever Wait, name that is. Is it not final Here, yet? Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. I am not Just Jim! Around. I promise you're <laughs> not. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, I clear your mind, they dox forget me. whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of I the world's like being possibilities Jim. as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Uh, Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Uh, if so, then please step forward and press the button. I don't want to be Jim. That sounds like a depressing life. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see what a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Oh my God, do it again, do it again. Jim. Oh, it <laughs> hits even harder the second time. If this were the Jim. only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. True. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. <laughs> so where we go now? Do we go back, or...? Whoa there, cowboy! <laughs> Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Jim. Otherwise, soon no. you'll start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you Jim. actually are. Jim. Jim. You took everything from me. What the fuck, man? Jim. Jim is fucking dead. Why is there so many doors? Is this a new feature? More doors you can't open. Oh. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would <laughs> actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> Enjoy the new features. Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Epilog. That's it. Oh. Wait. Collectibles. An NFT. Please don't. Please don't. Settings. World champion. Infinite hole. Free achievement. Free achievement. Free, new, and easy achievement. It just works. I can't believe it's that simple. I am intrigued. Free achievement. Get yours now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. An achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Let's go. 
Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm they... not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will we happen. We hear you. <laughs> Gamers. Man, I can't believe I'm debated. Fix it. We have the dev in the chat or had. Fix the achievement. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Ah, uh, true. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, who is this? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Hole? Wait, infinite hole! It won't end! I love holes. No screenshots. Wait. Please, no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? Wait, what's the button for a screenshot on Steam? F12? I took a screenshot. Get well someday. Happy 12th birthday, step knees. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it <laughs> is. I want a balloon. Give me one. Man. Get well someday. <laughs> or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Reassurance bucket. Wait, wait, we're out. Wait, wait, we wanted to check the hole. Hold on. Can I grab a little of your attention? Go to merch and there will be a QR code. Here's a link to it. Wait, what's that? Stanley Parable? Wait, what about it? Wait, what do you want me to do? I don't understand. I don't see a QR code. I, I don't see the merch section. Where's the merch section? I just walked by it? Where? Ah, oh, that one! Merch. Wait, what about it? Wait, what does it do? Welcome to the official website of Stanley Parable. Ah, oh, you sent the... <laughs> Wait, what about it? Doxed. I I don't see anything. I just scanned the QR code. What about it? What? Taste the sequel now in Expo Hall to learn more. Welcome to the official website. A sequel. It has a video? Wait, what's this? See there, Timmy. Wait, you want to watch it? Okay, wait. Oh my fucking god, how are we gonna watch it? Play it on stream. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I'll play it on stream. I hope we can see it.
See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. It's, it's called <laughs> lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will oh be everything God. breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all That's afraid so of change, cute. which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous, Timmy, and they can lead to early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. It's a useless, Bye. impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. Not all sequels are oh heretical God. nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing which is the sequel oh. to suffocating and dying a slow death. But it wasn't him. Even your parents are getting a sequel to He didn't to do it. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. It's me. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. We don't know what it is or what why it exists. Fuck is that? But it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. Amazing. And just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent I, playing I the Stanley Parable? I was not a child a year Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. We've all wasted our childhoods in one way or another. I didn't know another. English And you back were fortunate then. enough to get to waste yours on the Stanley Parable. But the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. You're a man, which is like the sequel I'm, to a child. I'm, I'm not and a as man. a man, you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. You need a man's video game, Timmy. <laughs> and that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe me, let's look Jigga at the burly chat. hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Gregory is what we call the ideas guy, and he has the most important role on the team. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job oh of turning God, those concepts into reality. For example, he's the one who picked up the phone and declared, someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good work, Gregory. Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. <laughs> the game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes oh my God, of their the predecessors. Spooky place. We've all made mistakes, and we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. When developing Who this particular sequel, people? it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was stolen uh, or pirated, and it's time we paid uh, the licensing fees fair and square. Huh? Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy, <laughs> whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations throughout the game. Although Leroy's money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy tucked deep within the game where it will be difficult Who? to find. Leroy? Finally, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about oh. the nature of the Time Wars. Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, 
The story is likely to make very little sense, but we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. Uh. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, it's time to set about constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development Shoot. is a difficult and complex art, one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. They begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. We begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor, bucking all conventional industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes what the it'll fuck be. Is this? <laughs> During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2. Creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators I am and producing 30,000 tons of the chemical byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and beautiful nature reserves like these all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its <laughs> developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. It was a Here good game for gameplay being printed on the sheets. Every video game contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay, and several of the largest games ever made Jesus. contain close to 1,500. On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. Wow. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of this which be must be test. delicately massaged by the hands of a child before being uh, added into the game. Huh? This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, which huh? he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. <laughs> ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word-of-mouth buzz for your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man who helps you steal HBO, everyone responds to blackmail. And if you've never done it before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting, and that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. If you order the Stanley Parable wow. 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single oh egg God. will produce over a thousand cows, which are, of course, the sequel to Pigs. Pug. And there you have it. Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Maybe. Of course, you may know that there is also the a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to the Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is... Who gives a shit? <laughs> All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubblegum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there and consume. Do your civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 on every platform. <laughs> Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through community efforts what like the these fuck? that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels for today, tomorrow, and into bye, the bye, great bye. unknowable beyond. The end. Billy! Wait, why did he live three years? Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Rest in peace, Billy.
rest in peace. Dude, if you didn't tell me about the QR code, I wouldn't have checked it. I, I, I didn't even think of it. I'm stupid. <laughs> nice. A nice video. Opening. Rim surrounding area depth infinite. Whole entrance? Ah, uh, what kind of guide is this? Wait, thank you for the bits, Elvina. I'll read all the notifications at the end. We muted them for now. <laughs> Jump into the hall. Infinite hole chart. Question mark. Educational use only. <laughs> it just keeps going. Jesus. Okay, I can't wait to experience the hole, the deepest one. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite That's falling. Just like my you life. You can fall until the end Amazing. of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Oh. Do we jump? I can't even jump, man. Okay, let's go. Whee! You see, isn't it huh? wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Concoctions. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, Whee! you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. But I want to see what's on the... Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. I want to know what's on the bottom. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. <laughs> I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely ah. philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. What? I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look. I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal <laughs> person actually wants to fall infinitely? Me? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> don't look, yell at things me. Things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Smudge. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. No. Where did you find cigarettes? I want to smudge too. Also, is this song a reference to something? Is it just two of us, like me and the narrator? Do it again. <laughs> Smudge. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for heaven. You see? <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you <laughs> like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh, did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't yeah. help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was I that not house. infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's even I'm shorter. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. 
I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Aware. Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Yeah. Let's try something. Join Let's pop for the first the time in the first we'll see if it gets any shorter. <laughs> uh, well, there it is. Uh, the shame of my life. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, <laughs> I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? It's not. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. No! You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with Gunga. the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope no. you and the hole have a wonderful rest of the day. No, come on. Come back. Come back. Okay, how do I get out of here? Um, Mr. Narrator, there is, there is no jump button. Um, ah, uh, no! <laughs> okay, death. So this is how I die. I can't jump, Chad. We're doomed. Ah, dead. I can't TP, I can't jump, I can't F change your perspective. Reality. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just oh pop in from God. time to time and wake you up? 
to keep you really truly focused on the whole. <laughs> from the looks of things, you and I will have many many years here in <gasps> this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. No, let me out. Let me out. Again. Again. Oh, we're back. Here we are. <laughs> Go oh on. God. Try out some of the new features. They're back to doors. <laughs> okay. Now go back. Go to the bucket. Wait, bucket. Oh, right. We haven't been here. Reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it paradoxical. engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're okay. holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long bucket. as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Let's go. <laughs> Can Jesus. you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can uh, I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think it? that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay. How can I... Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? <laughs> that really should be an award if it isn't already. It will be after this game. New features, new content, new ideas. I'll wait. I'll wait. This was in the room. Okay, we haven't explored the other one. But here... Wait, what's this? Expo Hall 2 guide. Jump circle. This map, Q, free achievement, B, the button that says the name of the player that's playing the game, Z, merch, settings, world champion, the Stanley Parable, reassurance bucket, office decorations, epilogue, why is there random numbers and, 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 and letters? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, can I go here first? How how do I get rid of the bucket? Oh. Can you find them? Can you find them? Whoa. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to what stifle the, the intrinsic fuck? joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh God. W. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Collect them all. Wait, that was it. I can't go back. 
Where's the God, sassy it really music? is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Am I supposed to collect them or what the fuck? You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Sad. Okay, there's one place left? Wait, what? Dev is here. Uh, All right. Have you seen panic. everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> so, Stanley, what Jesus. do you think? Do you like all Monka. of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange ah. these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, Amazing. well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of, okay, <laughs> never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version two. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding, Stanley? It has a collectible. This isn't a coherent Give video game me. at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than <laughs> anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. Let's go. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Two. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Two. Ah. Oh my god, it's actually Stanley Parable 2. Why is it a red room? Ah. Uh, uh, okay. What if I quit? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Is it the same? This is what employee 427 did every day of every month Tutorial day. over. <laughs> and although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. It's the same. Stanley was happy. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply <laughs> missed a memo. Get well someday. <laughs> Bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. Why did I pick it up? Will I need it? St 
Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay. Still no one was here. Stanley mm. needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear <laughs> as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. <laughs> Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be given the pressure that the broom closet I is putting can. on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your My companion bucket. and lifelong friend. You okay. can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Jesus. Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But even what? this is worse than I had imagined. And wait... Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, <laughs> that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. How? Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here Why we go. Is it? What? There. Now it's settled. <laughs> no more debate. <laughs> no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning go supplies back in. and Why? their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. What about it? All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, bucket. if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a Be bucket. Happy. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Another sticker, please? Please. You know what? Please. I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, <laughs> I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Oh. Okay. Next one is like 20 minutes. Later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stanley and the bucket. Oh! I wait, right. Oh my god! We found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. That's you can't buy enough. that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Nice. Shiny toilet. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. 
Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into two, an emotional three, five, dumpster eight? fire, Wait. if not for the soothing presence two, four, of the bucket. Five, eight? Even now, Wait, what was in his the darkest number? of hours, did the bucket's warmth and what? guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad Eight, behind four, the five. boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Boob. Oh. Clueless. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the yeah. combination was 2845. Listen, maybe it's different. Like, like, ah, uh, okay. 2845. Thank you. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> was it that the bucket knew all along? What? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay. Bucket is my friend. Best friends. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind me. Control Facility. Again? Escape. Should we escape? Or should we go in there? I don't remember what happened if we escape. Or do I? Wait, didn't the room fill with gas or something? I don't remember. Elevator again? Can I? Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? <laughs> when I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back really? so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Three? Nothing here. Here we are, said ah, Stanley. Now Jesus, I'm going to try out that young. number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Wait, so is this a debate? Perhaps the bucket had missed something. What? Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming what? the number three repeatedly. Did I break the game again? I... I broke another game. <laughs> A hint of regret <laughs> nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word the escape games. written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death.
The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Wait. Okay, I I don't want to kill the bucket. Wait, I think... Wait, no, I don't remember what happens. Wait, everything is so blurry in my hand. But of course, Stanley and the bucket thought better of it and realized they simply had too much to live for. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. <laughs> Stanley and the bucket. Monitors jumped to life, and Stanley Fired. nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything Rip. like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Bucket, help us. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? <laughs> Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the no. bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, <laughs> he could trust no one except for the bucket. I love this bucket arc. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> sassy. Thank you, I'll give a good thing to Bucket and Stanley. <laughs> okay, Nathan. Wait, okay, so do I turn it on? Because we did, we turned it off last time and nothing happened. Like, it was the end. Do we want the end? The happy end? You've never played the original Stanley Parable? Then go play it. Don't watch, don't watch me play <laughs> Up to me? Wait, you want me to do it? But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed ah! the button to turn on the controls. Stanley bucket. gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was what prepared to fuck? throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. What? Birds. Silly birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. <laughs> Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This Amazing. wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Silly Had the birds. Known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Flamingo. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Okay. 
Okay. That was the end. I can't believe it. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. I'm gonna kill the bucket. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. What? There will be a reward for finding them all. Trust the completionist instinct. What we know. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. The agenda. How can you tell you've spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? The glees are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? Thank you. Good luck. Smile. Maybe we are the collectibles. Monka W. Weird spinning figurines. <laughs> Why floating? Dreams, magic, magnets. Can we sell them? Obviously. There are many questions. There was no memo from the management. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless. TBH. <laughs> but what's here? We need more planks. Access plan. Produce one plank to allow... Use of... Access past fans. Construct bridge to allow collective of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. Uh Ah ease. Mission status. Large room, lots of boxes, stairs. Something to do with stairs. Somewhere both and both red and blue nearby a fireplace. Wait, so these are like the places where they are. Lol, looks like four, two, seven. Ha <laughs> Five. There'll be just take three from me. Gotta collect them all. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. <laughs> okay, I need four more. Nearby a fireplace somewhere with both red and blue. So is that the where we have to pick a red and blue door? Maybe stairs. Something to do with oh, stairs. I'm a guy. Thank you, Hueba. Large room, lots of boxes. Where the fuck was that? Uh, stairs? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh god. Ah! Another yeah. miniature Stanley figurine. Edgar. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes. Stanlerines? I I like <laughs> Another Stanlerine under your belt. Epic. Wait, what does this door do? Oh no, this is where we were but in Stanley the loop. just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why oh had my he taken God. that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, ah. maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. Am I crazy? The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. 
Hmm, that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's yeah. bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no ah. good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, Not now he bucket. noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. One, two, B, four. Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone ah. truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Where? Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were what his. The <laughs> None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Where's my bucket? He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, <laughs> he froze dead in his tracks. He huh? knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. Oh. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Death. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Whoa, Mariella woke up on a day like any other. But I sure don't she care. Rose, got dressed, <laughs> picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of no bucket. course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented <laughs> where? if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. <laughs> My life kicks ass. And she backflipped yeah. all the way to work. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Nice meeting today. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Do we take the Stanley bucket? Stanley decided chat? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do we take the bucket again? Yes. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. <laughs> okay. Stanley clutched uh... the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. The blue and red. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket <laughs> was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left no. to go back to the meeting room. Never mind. No said the bucket <laughs> don't go to the meeting room go somewhere else the cargo lift yes go there go to the cargo lift wait where was the room with is it if i go over there we haven't been up there yet like in this game good said the bucket now ride the lift all the way to the top there's something up there i need you to do Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. Yeah, I want to try it them should have on. alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Mm. 
must be no, here. No, stop. Ah. Look there on the wall. No you see, buckets. There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past what this point. Fuck? Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on Let the entire the rest of in. the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in Cargo. here for a moment. Oh. <laughs> Is this now then, a bucket? I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? Cake. This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Let's go. Item one. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a uh, hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. What the fuck? I got it right. Item two. Is this a bucket? Mm. <laughs> it's music. Correct. Uh, it is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket not an actual bucket. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Okay, let's see. Item three. Is this a bucket? Mm. Mm. No. Incorrect. Uh. This is a bucket. Wait, really? No, wait. No, no, no. You're flying. Uh, Item four. Is this a bucket? Yes. What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. <laughs> it's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. I like this game. Is this a bucket? Correct. This is a bucket. <laughs> I gaslit the game. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Aha, <laughs> good one. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. <laughs> and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore, <laughs> nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Oh, that's a hard decision. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes. Stanley, I can't I'm keep friend. doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No! Okay, here we go. Don't do it! What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, I can't was everything it. a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, yes, Stanley, you are. you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. 
Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the okay. fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything no. and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Okay. Buckets. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? What? Am I not Stanley? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. Okay. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Four one seven. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Okay, great. Now, go touch the bucket on door 437 a few times. 437? Wait. Uh, where is it? I'm lost. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay, there is. There must be a room with a lot of uh, boxes. Which one was that? Was it the one if you go here and then go upstairs? First room? Oh, I missed it. It's fine. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was no, wrong. No, never mind. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. No. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Wait! What? Wait! But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. How touching. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Wait, do I have to do this again? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. 
Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. Okay, great. Now, go touch the bucket on door 437 a few times. 437. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. How about door 415? Give it some bucket love. Bucket love! Now, back to door number 437. <gasps> Jesus! F I almost choked on my saliva. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, I think the copy machine needs some attention. Why don't you rub the bucket on it a bit? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, now bring the bucket on top of employee 419's desk. D desk you say yes this is great now the bucket knows exactly what it's like to be employee 419 now <laughs> let's introduce it to door 416 we've almost got it now make the bucket and the copy machine touch again that is lewd Finish it off, Stanley. Five touches of the bucket on door 430. Yes! We did it! 430. Oh, that felt amazing. You know, not all buckets will get this kind of experience. They won't all know what it's like to slam repeatedly against nearly every door in one section of an office building. Or what it's like to be employee 419. Buckets may dream of an experience like this, but few can say they've truly lived it. You've given a bucket hope today. Stanley, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Wait, so it's not gonna open? Okay. You've seen this game before? Yeah, it got, uh, got a huge update. So, you should go and play it. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly okay. to his chest, and this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place Ad? to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. You have to buy the game to support the developers. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlorines and Figlies. What do you think, Thank Stanley? Goodness. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Figless. That's it? Do I have to die? Uh. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his no? dearest friend. Wait, what? So he threw himself to his death. That they Am might I... die in one another's arms. Wait, I'm blind? How deeply touching. Fuck. Okay, wait. Okay, I I'm gonna go again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Ah, uh, why am I blind? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... Ch this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door <laughs> on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. <laughs> no. 
said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Uh, where's the, the van? Lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Where? Oh. Venting. Ah. Is this new? I don't think I've seen this in the old game. Sassy. Oh. Wait. Oh no. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number. <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Uh. Nothing feels real anymore. No. The longer I study this bucket, <laughs> the less sense. <laughs> Anything makes the sheer euphoria I feel every time the I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Because it's the only friend? Why everything feels so... <laughs> what do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. What? Don't sell the bucket! It's unthinkable no. the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This Corpa. is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... What's that? Uh, Who's there? Um, uh, is that bucket? Caporata. Um, horror game. Mega. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Um. All of his co workers um, were gone. Um, what could it mean? Uh, Stanley decided to go to the meeting uh, room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley <laughs> just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with it. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. My heart. Alright. Wait, I didn't get to red and blue. Nearby fireplace. Oh, that's the wait. That's the office, right? The 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 the, the, the one upstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Alright, where's the fireplace? Oh, there it is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What? Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, ah. did the bucket's warmth and Wait, guiding what? light Two, pierce eight? the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always but stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck was it that the bucket knew all along was the bucket guiding him yes this is certainly the most logical explanation i tried three 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 wait why is it not here eh? 
Getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us Figler can. and the Marines. <laughs> okay, so I have to... Let's go to the escape. The Glenarins. Hello. The Glenarins. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Death, Megalo. machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched uh, closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how uh, meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Uh, to be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what game. Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Goodbye. Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley uh, and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. A girl? In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. <laughs> Wait, does chat work for you guys? Like, do the emotes show up now? Because I still don't see them. No? Oh, so you're writing emotes <laughs> even though you don't see them. <laughs> Stanley Pearl. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true Wait, that all buckets bucket. are agent in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a Not glorious bu bucket to behold. Bucket. No. Welcome <laughs> to... What? Bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. The bucket. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket, bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris? We hold on F5. That blinded him. Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Do you see it? Oh, I see it! I see the emotes now! 25 buckets! A photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets. <laughs> Not twenty five, that's twenty six. A bucket with two handles. Epic. Now, that is a superior bucket. What else do you have here? <laughs> Infernal bucket. 
<laughs> a replica of the inferno bucket which is in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it billions died and yet in spite of it all the simple fact remains no one can control a bucket a stress bucket stress bucket Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance. <laughs> Coping stra strategies equals holes. Okay. Hopium. Ah! Cave drawing. That's kinda cute. While we know that buckets predate the existence of manca mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how bucket is allowing itself to be used. <laughs> Having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. Ah, yes. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The hanging bucket. Oh. Wait. Oh. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Wait! Let Stanley die. No. Let him be crushed by the machine. No. Don't reset the game. Don't I give don't him another die. opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if what only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Ah. Hello? Hello? Oh, just a bad dream. <laughs> Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Bucket! A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. I just need... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. I just need one and more. the door on his left. Go back? What? I... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Red and blue. There might have been something on the computer screen in your room. No, oh, said the bucket. I missed it. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Oh, wait, There's I something can't up go there, there I need with you the to bucket. do. Stanley did not question uh, why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this uh, obvious fuck. fact. But okay. Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death, that they might die in one another's arms. Guess I'll die. How deeply touching. Could have wrote the lift? That's fine. Wait, anything on my PC? No. Ah! Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time.
beans. We can't go there with the when bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No Stanley buckets. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story no has bitches. been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have really? zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do no, want but... to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. There it is. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to I whatever the, the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Did I beat the game now? Stick now me. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <sighs> okay. We haven't done oh, here yet. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get uh... somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Death? Hmm... What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm... Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place... No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Um... Uh... Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Is it gonna? Oh. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. I, I don't remember what happens. Do it. What if we just stay here? Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. <laughs> are you, you are going to stay here, aren't you? What now? There's nothing here. Huh? You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you?
Wait, I could walk off? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Oh wait, I can't do it here. On the stairs? So do I do it then? Because there's nothing else to do here. Was that? What did they mean by this? Is she trolling? I am just trying to see everything. So that I don't have to come back here. No! Ouch. Oh, thank God. You lived. You uh. had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. What? Can you do that for me? Wait, I think I'm slower now. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself okay. from this platform <laughs> over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps oh, you finally oh. see what I'm talking about. What's happening? <laughs> what is happening here? Beautiful. Is this what you wanted me to see? I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? No, perhaps not. I broke my legs. There's nothing here, whoever asked to check here. I guess there's only one way to get out of here. Goodbye. Forever. Well, maybe you're ah. just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Stop. I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> Uh... Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> okay. Narrator? Stanley, uh... I'm sorry. But I have to put a pause on things. It's just... It's those figurines. Those figlers. I <laughs> haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't <laughs> it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it yeah, fill you to the brim was. with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story. But won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Okay. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. <laughs> Memory zone. Oh. 
Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. What's here? What? And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to oh, find any of them, wait. let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts but of mundane, unremarkable one? ways. Wait, I missed the legendary sex scene now. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? I, I don't care. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here under the stairs. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. I almost forgot, though. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's uh, here in the haven't? memory zone, so it must have happened. Um... Apple. This was the fifth mini Stan, and this one was really something special. It was behind the boss's office. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> Mini stand number five. Oh my god. High five. <laughs> you found it behind the boss's office. Thanks for Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Oh. Oh. And then, Stanley, right. then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, Yes! That's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh. Can I have my last one? You're in the present. And then there was no more. Because we've Way caught up to the present dead. moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Ah. Uh, but I didn't get the first one. Um. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See uh... how that feels. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. 
I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> oh my God. Yes, I love that video. <laughs> Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Yeah, pretty nice. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Oh wait, we haven't been here. Oh wait, what? Can't even go there. Ah! This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Oh my god. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Oh yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Uh, you're not telling me where to go? Oh. Back and to the office? before everything else, there was your office. Whoa! Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. What is it? Yes. I'm remembering something now. Manda. <laughs> I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was I was different. Enjoy I used to make your big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would uh make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. <laughs> Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Oh, yes, perhaps that's it. The perhaps Lord? I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go so back much. to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Uh... Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. What? I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Uh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Pocket. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, oh. but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of Welcome the Welcome to the part ending. Dog mode. Oh. <laughs> 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 
like for me, Chad? Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and <laughs> entered the door on his left. Do we listen to him? Because is this the last ending? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. But it's back to Perhaps normal. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay. Is this it? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Wait, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional Two. dumpster fire, ah. if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Ow, ow, ow. Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. <laughs> Why does the barking has echo? <laughs> How did I break it last time? I can't bark anymore. I... My memory sucks, okay? Stanley and the bucket uh. walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Bark. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wandered to themselves. Bark, 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 bark. Elevator go up again? Wait, really? I already did that. Why would I do that again? What are we doing? The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket nah. want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Stop barking! No! He screamed into no. the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Okay, but here there was, was the an proof. ending here. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. What am I supposed for to do? For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. One, two. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the Bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Three? Is that four? Okay. Ah, uh, wait, but how do I get it? How do I get it again? When at last they came to the source of the room's power, 
Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I already pressed on and it showed me the bird videos, right? So I have to turn it off? I didn't turn it off with the bucket yet. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes! They had done it! Is Stanley it the and same? the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive <laughs> door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... Oh? What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? No. An unbearable silence filled the room lingering in uncertainty until finally the truth hit stanley square in the face this building did not want the bucket to leave even what? the facility no. itself recognized the, the incredible fuck? calming presence of the bucket needed the soothing warmth of my the bucket, bucket. To any lengths not to part with the bucket no 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 stanley can't leave this place not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never uh. again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Okay, what did I miss, chat? What did I miss? All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? What? God, the window? I already did the window. Didn't? God, the window with the bucket. Ah, with the bucket. Quit the game entirely and reopen? The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Yes! Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. <laughs> We've done it! We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator! At last! Out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. Who the opportunities to, to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself, perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the <laughs> bucket furrowed its brow. <laughs> no, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. What? I was young back then <laughs> and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! 
This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? Stupid. As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... Uh. Oh. My God, Stanley, you did it. What? You saved us from the bucket. He's Thank God you already leaving. had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Why? I didn't murder. It was the narrator. He framed me. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Meeting room again? Take it. Collect more stickers? Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Quit the game. I quit it. Let's see. Unable to sink? Ah, it works. Oh, wait. Epilogue? Wait, did I check this one? New button. What's this? Epic log. Many, many years later. <laughs> okay. Achievement unlocked. Welcome back. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Stanley Parable 3. Where do I go? Where did I find the wood? There's like nothing around. Comfy. Oh no.
Monkey9's blog. Un uncompromising gaming content. Review the Stanley Parable. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel, where the first game teemed with originality. The Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collect collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve from... Oh... Who asked? <laughs> Who asked? Stanley Parable Developers. No more spin-offs. No more sequels. No! Jim! 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 Jim. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise. But a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been farther from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative ver visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Jim. 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 Stan. Jim. Stanley. 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 Jim. An imposter. The figurines. <laughs> oh, I got them all. Oh, oh. Well, thank you for enjoying the new content. Button? Computer? Oh. Hello, Cap! Wait! We found him! <laughs> it's nice to see you, but it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense! The Stanley Parable is not sacred, we do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy, let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. <laughs> let's run this franchise into the ground, let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem, he was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy, let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we're going to make the Stanley Parable 3. <laughs> it's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. 
<laughs> I also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. The Stanley Parable 3. Wacky... Co-work. <laughs> have employee, have... <laughs> co-worker. Stanley versus Bomb. It's either me or the bomb <laughs> co-workers. Runner, escape, wacky escape. The Stanley Parable 3, wacky escape. It's absurd, I love it. <laughs> Every time we restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this, either. Adding more content... Content sounds like work, no need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Good. Then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. Alright. There, the achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There is only one last thing you need to do. Please enter the current time! Wait, we can't do 20! We can't do 20, Chad. I already did for 20. Sad. 12.27 a.m. Wait, why 27? 4.13? Ah, 12.27 is right now. Okay. <laughs> Did I put my own time? <laughs> Listen, I didn't look at the time. It was going so fast. <laughs> okay. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Wacky escape! Vloggers, <laughs> let's begin! This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is it the same? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I created the game. Employee number <laughs> 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. Damn, I'm a game dev now. Corpa. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What now? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But 427? Wait, can I do it again? Hold on. Can we set the time again or not? Probably not. Sheesh. Sheesh. Corpa. 
Stanley Parable 4. <laughs> Wait, offline 427. <laughs> Scary 427. Stanley versus now with added, now with added mind control machine. <laughs> Paperwork. Lawsuit. Baby lawsuit. Baby cowboy. Baby mind control machine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> Monka W. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a. Okay, what endings did I miss? Actually, all of his co-workers were gone. I remember there what was something like a with a Stanley line on the floor. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. See? There is a three ending? Third ending? Got to book an achievement. Oh yeah, wait, how do I get there? That's so far away. Also, I'm gonna read the subs after the game. New content? Is this where it was? Wait, this is just new content. We need to go to new, new content, right? Fudge. Wait, there's no narrator. You see, Stanley, ah. I've been <laughs> reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. New, the original new content. Stanley parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it what? one step even further. Which what? is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, uh, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. Hopefully this she'll is see what it on fans the have truly been asking it? for. Wait, what, now, what to be clear, that? I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Oh, I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, in but surely the game will sort of naturally controller? spring up Wait, around them. The it will all that. work itself out. Game developer. Here I'm we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay, wait. Okay, how do I get... Wait, what was I going for? Oh my god, my brain is exploding. Uh... Why did I come here? Ah, the machine, right. Wait, was it here? No, it wasn't here. Wait, where the fuck was it? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's wait, an artistic wait, statement wait. right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term wait, franchising here, potential. Right? Wait, where was it, chat? Just read. Enjoy the new features, the name, merch. Ah, uh, I'm panicking. Collectibles. Ah, this one. Okay. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement ah. will be given to you. As you can see, the machine is not working ignite. yet since... I uh, got it! Wait, what in the holy hell is going on? <laughs> you got the achievement? 
Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? <laughs> Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, uh -huh. um, it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> okay, do I leave now and go to that last room and jump up? But how? What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Okay. Is it gonna be Stanley Parable 5? Uh, Stanley Parable 5, baby! <laughs> Thank you. Wait, I can't. Ah, uh, baby, scary snake, <laughs> door to a whisper of thank you. Uh, you must have a huge brain, cause this game would have left me lost after the first two minutes. What? I'm just trying to see everything. Outstretched. Cowboy. Wait, Pug, thank you. <laughs> Scary, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay. Outstretched this cowboy. This is the story of a man um, named Stanley. Okay. Okay, chat. Here, nothing is here, right? There's nothing here. Right? Right, 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 right? Chan? There is? What? What do you mean? PC? Check achievements. Okay, let's see. Achievements? Wait, how do you see them all? Okay. Play Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Left door, boss office, mind control room, jump off. Okay, let's do that then. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I'm Perhaps sorry. he had simply missed a memory. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Left room, left when room. When Stanley I'm came control. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. With the bucket! <laughs> I'm sorry for being dumb. Stanley Parable 6 Infinite <laughs> What the fuck is the Gerado? Expired the Gerado The Gerito? The Gerito? This is the story of a man named Stan Okay, I'm going, I'm going now uh, the bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded on. Stanley ego. clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I want to see how many Stanley parables it's going to be. That's Still why no I keep restarting here. it. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Boss office. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Boss's office. I remember this door open, no? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Three, Crushed three, by the three. weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light You're pierce trolling. the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? I swear to yes. God, if you this tell me to go back now... Go back now? Really? The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. No. It would be all Stanley could yeah. do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be I right. broke the game like the that The bucket is here for you, oh. Stanley. Everything will be fine. Okay. Stanley ah. and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, okay. Mind Control here? Facility. And now what? I jump up? Again? From the table. But just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. <laughs> Now, How convenient. what to do next, Stanley wondered. Stanley and the bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually <laughs> they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. What? So they set up a little couch and relaxed. It really wasn't so bad down Where here. Where did the couch cold, come from? I'm After sorry some for time my had gone by, they installed a few shelves. I almost fucking peed myself. Wait, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go pee, wait, wait a second. Back? Okay. Are you guys fucking stop? Tools as well, and a sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the bucket was craving paninis. 
But it wasn't until the rugs and the standing the lamps kitchen. came in that it really started to feel like a home. In fact, after some time, Stanley realized that it had been ages since he had even thought of the mind control facility at all. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there, never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. Uh, it unsettled the bucket no. Stanley wasn't usually like this. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. <laughs> all Stanley could think out. about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path, it was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This made no sense at all to the bucket, which was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley <laughs> was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. The bucket sighed. True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe where possibly, did we get if all we these accept the reality from? of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. Streamer room. It's what room. the bucket was counting on. The two of them waited for a very long time. Huh? That's it. Okay, let's see the achievements again. Uh... Super go outside. Don't play the Stanley Parable for 10 years. Oh. Settings world champion. Set all settings sliders in the menu to all the available numbers. Speed run. Complete Stanley Parable in under 4 minutes 22 seconds, not including load times. 8888888888. Commitment. Play Stanley Parable for entire duration of a Tuesday. That's so specific. I think I already have... Is there 420? I have 430. But those are the achievements I need. I don't have anything else. Please jump down again without the bucket. Do the thing? Wait, which thing? Jump without the bucket. Please jump down again without the bucket. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going. All of his co-workers were gone. I'm sorry. What did it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, 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 okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm just going so Pepe Meltdown. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided okay, to go up to his boss's office. A Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Two eight four five. Two eight four five. Two eight four five. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Oh hey. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Any bad. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read I, Mind Control Facility. I don't remember facility. jumping on my first playthrough of the of the first game. I don't remember if I did that. Maybe I did. Did I? Ah, 
Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! Uh -huh. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, oh. getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. Uh and you all <laughs> sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours, so... Here Goof. you go. New content. Oh my you god. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room I'm ending. If that enhances your perception of the value of these Let's updates. Go. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Yes. Yeah, Always new. more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We How much wrote did a I new miss? piece of music just for this section. Oh you my won't God. hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. Fucking that's how secrets. special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom <laughs> of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. Rock music intro. Good job. You did it. Good job. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful, you should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending. I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier. And chase your dreams. Railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 Did I beat the game now? Getting ads every time something happens. I'm sorry. Twitch loves putting ads. Fudge. Well, we got a song. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know that that was even a bug. Wait. Was it Dom? Wait, was it Dom who sang it? <laughs> nice. Good song. I did it. That was me playing guitar and singing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so glad you found it. Yeah, yeah. It only took uh, you guys mentioning it like five thousand times, but I, 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 All of his I got it. <laughs> were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, people club memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his okay, co-workers. Wh what else? What else did I miss? Did I miss? I probably missed a lot. Sticker on the bucket. Right. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Wait, didn't someone Protective say I have to wait like 20 minutes? Yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Huh? Wait. Where is the... Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort. Ah, there now it is. More than I ever. thought it was... Perhaps his boss at Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet. Simply because I have no remaining stickers. You're if lying. I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Everyone, please buy the soundtrack from our composer. Tom when the jumps. <laughs> Wait. I am blind. I'm sorry. Pause jump. Stickers? There's no stickers left? Okay, who's baiting me? Who's lying and who's baiting? No more stickers? No boobs? Time to stare at the wall for 20 minutes? Wait... 
You really want me to wait for 20 minutes, Chad? <laughs> yes? You can't be serious. I can do it off stream. <laughs> oh my god. Never did just chatting, you can wait. Oh my god. I... I don't know... I, you're making me nervous. <laughs> you can read the Donna's now? Wait, true. Wait, what if it's it's gonna talk? Wait, no! I, guys, I can't read the Donna's because it's gonna pause the game. And it's not gonna count that I'm sitting in this room. Yeah, and I would miss... You can take the bucket to the phone room after after the warehouse lift. Oh, so the top room that we didn't go to yet? Just count till 1200. I don't want anything. You've already been here two minutes. I'm just trying to stall, but this is so hard. I don't wanna close my eyes I don't wanna fall asleep Cause I miss you, baby And I don't wanna miss you, baby Play music and vibe <laughs> I don't want to wait 20 minutes <laughs> Let's talk about our favorite buckets Ah. Uh, well, buckets are kind of cool. I realized that thanks to this game. Yes. My ADHD is kicking in for you. Did I have ADHD? I can't like I I I need to do something. <laughs> I need to do something. It has been 6 minutes already. No, it hasn't. Like does it count if I leave this room and then come back again for 2 minutes? And then leave again, and then come back for two minutes. It has been ten minutes. No. It doesn't stay in the room. <laughs> Do you feel? How, how long has it been, like, actually? If Orange put on another one. Hi. Should I just close the door so I don't walk out? Epic. Do some squats. Alright. Let's do the squats. I'm literally not... I'm like, not prepared at all for squats. Like, I haven't done them in forever. So I'll probably do like one... Barely. Ah. How the fuck you do squats again? Alright. Squat number one. Oh fuck, I s <laughs> I had a water filter. <laughs> I sat on my water filter. <laughs> Okay, squat number one. I hope I don't sit on a bottle or some shit. <sighs> one. Two. Uh, three. I hope I don't fart. Okay. Four. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this, I can do this. <sighs> Five. <sighs> okay. I can do not. ten. No, don't not. Okay. Uh, six. What? <sighs> How long has it been? Has it been ten minutes? Uh, seven. Eight. 
Nein. Dad. Dad. And ten. Four. Okay. Can I stay on the floor? Wait, is Bella here? Bella. Bella, I'm I'm doing squats. Ooh. Oh, I'm a guy. Thank you, Hueba. <laughs> it's me right now. Uh, my panties are stuck in my ass. Fudge. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I did. Wow. <sighs> I'm doing squats. Have you never seen a person doing squats? <sighs> okay, how long has it been? 10 minutes? 20? I need to wait 20 minutes in this room. So we get like a secret ending? I don't know. Only 8 minutes? Bella! <laughs> Help me. Three hours. <clears throat> Wait, no, I can't do sit ups. Well, what's that? I, I don't think I can alt tab. I have to be in the game. No, I can't do push-ups. Guys, I have a secret. I've never in my life been able to make a single push-up. I'm just that weak. I can't. Like, my legs are pretty strong because I've been roller skating all my life. But my hands, my arms are so weak. I just can't. Like, I would fail every sport class at school because I can't do fucking push-up wall push-ups <laughs> there's no corner in my room that I could use <laughs> like my room is very small and I have like shit all around it push-ups on my knees but that doesn't count <laughs> <sighs> I wish I learned how to do push-ups normally, someday. <laughs> like, they... I, I'm actually terrified of them, because I never was able to. Whoa. The new version is still a good workout? Really? It feels like it does nothing. Trainers tell you to do it on your knees if you can't go... If you can't do a full one. Huh? I'm not Japanese. You can... You can unfollow me now. <laughs> I'm not Japanese. I have to go. Thank you so much for playing, Annie. And thanks for watching around. This was really fun. Thank you, Dom. Thank you for staying with us. And I love this game so much. <laughs> Thank you for making it. It's one of my favorite games I've played. <laughs> I love everything about it. It is funny. Also, watch out for this code! Ah! Chat, it's your chance! Grab the code! <laughs> Thank you, Dom! Have a nice day! Ooh, I love everything about you! <laughs> oh, Bella... N not... not... not now! <laughs> uh, this game is awesome! Five dollars have been added to your PayPal! <laughs> I wish... I wish... Wait, can I? Can I, can I, can I? Boop. Okay, I can try to catch up with my alerts. Um... 
Okay, sad potato. Thank you for five months. Wait, I can unmute the alerts now. Thank you, false Zongetsu for T3 and 38 months. Wait, isn't that... Isn't that three years? Wait, no. Hold on, 12 plus 12 to... Wait. Wait, no, it's not, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Two years, ten months. <laughs> I can't fucking math. Thank you. Thank you, Airwolf, for the seven months. Thank you, Ghost... Ghosty boy. For the plan. Thank you, Koi Koi, for 25 months. Thank you, Asian guy with a dog. <laughs> Thank you, Dory Matt, for four months. Uh... We freak freaks. Thank you, 10 months. Thank you, first for 10 months. Thank you, Trentus, for gifting to Stiggly Wiggly. <laughs> Team Fantastic, thank you for 8 months. Thank you, Clueless, for the beat. Dantina, thank you for 6 months. Uh, Trentus gifted to Stiggly. <laughs> thank you. I am now, thank you, 13 months. Uh, Thank you, Marshall, for bits. Uh, I am gang related. Thank you for five months. Thank you, Corvus, for 13 months. Hi, Annie. It's been a while since I could watch a stream. I hope you're feeling well. I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling better. I don't know. I, I feel like I've hit such a low point in my life that I started feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking weird. Seven minutes to go? Let's fucking go. I hope something happens. If this was all a debate, I'm gonna punch you, chat. That's right. Clueless, thank you for two gift subs. Uh, thank you, Hokian, for gifting to Bucket. <laughs> thank you, Nathan. Hokian <laughs> gifted to Stanley. Sergio for Bengals. Thank you, Dumont. Thank you, Mel Strum. A dear one, thank you, Steel Mom. <laughs> Already seven months. How? I don't know. Time do be flying fast. I hate it. <laughs> You're gonna cry then. Just one. Thank you, thousand bits. And Elvino, thank you. Exam finished, and I did pretty good, if I do say so myself. Time to celebrate by giving bits to Internet Fox and buying Stanley Parable too. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad you passed it. Let's fucking go. Careful with your noodle arms when you're gonna punch us. Hey, I can get strong when it's needed. Also, I can use my legs instead. Ha, ha, ha. If any would hit chat with hurt, I can hit pretty bad. You wanna try? I'm honey! Ah! Thank you, friends. Blood grave. Tear one's up. Okay, uh. Devil's curse. Thank you, I'm months. honey! Hotel candy. Yo. Months. A whole year Yo. of being beige. And now being a pink cutie. <laughs> Love your chat and orang and eat gasm. Oh, I guess I should thank that horny fox too. Awkward. Horny fox. Thank you, undulating for his happy one year. Thank you for sticking around. And he can crush Chad with her thighs. Yep. That's true. These thighs. <laughs> thank you, I boon gang for the gift. <laughs> Voxic, thank you, T months. Thank you, Hokkien for bitties. Thank you, Papa Pop again with the tier 3 sub. Uh, Jepler, thank you, the gifted sub. Wait, what? You give the 10 months? Or is it just. I'm so confused. <laughs> thank you. Alokai, thank you for a year. Happy one year if you're still here. That was three hours ago. Fuck. I'm honey! Jaconis, thank you, taught. thousand bits. Hope you're having fun. I am. Punk tuna. Punk tuna, thank you for a year. Wow, so many one-yearers. 
<laughs> People like ah, uh, where did I left off? I'm hungry. Oh, fuck. Ah, I go please. Thank you for months. E. Hope, hope so. Thank you for months. Uh, just one thing. Give a gifting to Dom again. Ikuri, thank you for nine months. Thank you, Japanese. I'm hungry. Ikura, help one for ten months. Celestial glue, thank you for months. God, so many, so many, so many. Uh, moist polar bears. Thank you for Prime. Thank you. Uh. JCF dude, I think that's where we left off. We caught up. Ploggies. Thank you so much everyone. Dicks! Dicks. <laughs> Thank you, Star Mesh. Oh god. Heard someone said Annie could crush us between her thighs instead of punching. Um, where do I sign um. up? <laughs> Lick Annie thighs. You just got you just gotta uh behave bad. I don't recommend you to <laughs> Okay, how many minutes has it been? Is it soon? Soon, soon, soon? How long are we gonna be stuck here? Two? Fifteen? Five? Two? Seven? Wh why are you all saying random numbers? Two more? Let's go. Soon. Hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen. Hmm. Did you get the broom closet ending? That ending was my favorite. I think so. I, I got it in the first game, I think. I don't know what this is gonna be. I remember that the door closed and we were stuck in here But it doesn't happen this time You need to redo it before you can get the bucket ending? Please, no <laughs> Hey chat, what would you do if we were stuck? in a broom closet together huh? <laughs> fine FBI open up! Jesus star mess thank you <laughs> keep it the bits sweep the floor okay Bella surely that's all you would do Wouldn't you want to kiss? Wait 20 minutes and get secret ending clueless. Anytime now. Anytime now. No? Can't believe it. Time now. Anytime now. <laughs> Wet. <laughs> Any day. Any day now. Bum, 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 bum. Any day now. Any day now. Oh. Prince Blood Grave, thank you for 100 bits. Yo. If you want to play the sound, there's um. Oh god. Bonaboo! <laughs> thank you, it's on subs! So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ten pack. <laughs> Ten buckets. Thank you so much. But yeah, if you wanted to play the sound for bits, uh, I have to go in the in my bio there is uh, like a widget for that. You can choose a sound for the bits. So that you don't just waste them. So I think they don't count towards the <coughs> bits badge. 
or did they? I don't remember. Booba? Oh my god, I lost. <laughs> Thank you, Chantas. Anytime now. Anytime now. 20 minutes. Come on. We've been stuck here. Oh, fuck. The water filter that I sat on. Wait, Chad, don't tell me you fucking debated me. Fucking serious? I think you big cake of a month. Or 11 months. What does it say 5 and then 11? Clean the desk? <sighs> Maybe you should check the desk log. Wait, really? I don't have any. Oh, I want Just to check if they minutes. say that it's not true. Ah, oh, did you really trick me? Chat, you seriously tricked me to sit here for 20 minutes? But the ending is actually in the wiki. Delete the VOD in revenge. That wouldn't do anything to people that that already been here. It's because we want to spend more time with you. Oh. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> that will show them. No, are you serious? Did you trick me? <sighs> Did you? Two minutes left. I tried warning, but alas... Are you serious? Two minutes left. Okay, I'll wait two minutes. If nothing happens in two minutes, maximum three minutes, then... I'm gonna end the stream. If nothing happens, I'm ending the stream. have two minutes to confess, Chad. <laughs> Click dev update the game. Maybe the door was supposed to be closed all the time. I'm not checking that one. In about two minutes, it'll be, it'll have been twenty minutes since you did squats. Annie, I know you'll have forgotten by the end of the stream, but can you add the jebated song on the sound alerts thing? Jebated. Jumping. Okay. Mod, please remind me on the channel. Holy shit. Thank you, modulating voice. I appreciate it. Okay. One more minute. Dude, I did this because I, I genuinely thought that something's gonna happen and I did it for you guys. And you just, you just debated me. I trusted you. How could you? I'm gonna 
is shit and calm at the same time. <laughs> well, it's been 20 minutes and nothing is happening. You little shits. You got 10 squads though, yeah, now my ass is stronger to fucking beat your ass. One person said 20 minutes, the rest of the chat just repeated. I can't fucking believe it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. There's still ending though? Where? What have I not done? Let me restart the game. I'm honey! Hi Annie, thank you for singing believe. to us on Mendo's stream. I feel so stupid. I, I, I knew that I was stupid, but like... This is making me even more stupid, and that's why the deaf left, because, like, he didn't want to fucking wait for that. <laughs> wait, Stanley Parable 7. The final printer jam. Thank you, clean pillows. Do 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 do. This is the story of a man named. What ending, ending did I not do? I'm never doing anything for you again. Chant. Right, left in the world. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Right. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. No. Never mind. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. We haven't been here. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift. No. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket no. asked. No. In here, said the bucket. <laughs> Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Okay. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Uh, and then, very distressingly, he wait, began to believe the bucket, bucket could speak to him. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press K to take me to work with you. Dude, this is a nice apartment. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press Y to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to She's me. She's <laughs> Press L to go back to work. L, I'll try L, anyway. L, 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 Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. 
It's just a bucket. It can't think, it can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man press G for us to go back <laughs> You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. You told me to take it. Press C to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. <laughs> you believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press Z to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. Bucket. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water Para from one room to another. Press C to relieve really the same day with me over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water bucket. from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? <laughs> oh no. I'm I'm having oh, feelings no. for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's um, going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Am I, am I Hear what the fuck bucket the has bucket? to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with I, me? I, I don't understand. Fuck the perhaps, perhaps, I don't want to fuck the bucket, bucket, please. This would be please, less confusing. No. Yes. I don't want the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Oh. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... The legendary sex scene. Go back to work, Stanley. <laughs> that was the end. All of his co workers were gone. Oh, what could it mean? What the fuck? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, did I, did I see I everything, me. Chad? Jibin, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate it. Go to the phone room again without the bucket, you mean? Unplug the phone? With the bucket or not? Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. No, surely not. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge I've was never heard the, the word bucket be. so and many times was. in my life. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. No. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left bucket to go chan. back to the meeting room. No, no, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift. Yes, yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the phone. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get I the honey. joke? It's funny, Stanley. Force a talking him. bucket. <laughs> Can't you see? Oh, oh goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? 
Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. What? What is comedic timing? <laughs> what is comedic timing? What How does it, it work? How, How long it? should it last? How can it be I used know. to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. yes. Let's dive deeper. Oh. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight important. upward yep. at a 15 degree angle from your body. <laughs> These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then Spell out your name a second time. Name. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak name. the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Denny with the funny now. I'm Denny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. <laughs> Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. <laughs> Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke oh, is the Danny. only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be I'm no less Danny than 10 pages funny. long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invaders who threaten our very nice. existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed uh, and may Earth reign supreme. Uh, uh. Uh... Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as oh, relevant no. today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors. What is that email? Why are you going inside my ass? What the fuck is happening? People leave to Annie. <laughs> and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. <laughs> Come along, let's head back. Why are you going inside my ass? What the fuck, man? Okay, wait, what do I do? Oh, I do it again? Huh? Huh? People leave to any. Wait, what? Wait, what's happening? I, I didn't listen. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to <laughs> overthink things. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Chad? You're all liars. Stop lying.
Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Where do I go? Do, 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 do I go right again? Clueless. Up to me? Wait here 20 minutes? <laughs> no. Middle door. Right is right. Oh? Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. Y you don't a dramatic have to say left or right now. I already witch, picked the which door. Which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. <laughs> And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I'm so I've made hungry. a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling whelp. Lowly? I think I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Stanley with the funny. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Go left? Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Oh, I guess I have to, yeah. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Could you not even look at the instructional mm. video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going what to be ridiculed fuck? in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Thank you, Maldzge. Stanley, you love the bucket so much it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? No. Is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... I beat what the game. To describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal. I think I saw him playing Stanley guitar. Was funny. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I just... I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. Ah! Uh, we're done with the gamey. I think we got everything, right? Right, chat? Did we? Wait, no, we didn't get like a... The All of his co-workers were gone. What did I not get? What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, please. The racer, are you, are you really okay? just doing this for the Do achievement? Do you need a hug? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five... Check your team achievements. I already did, and there's not that many left. They're not telling me much. There's like one that you don't play for 10 years, one is something to do with the settings, uh, elevator before the warehouse, uh, which one is that? 
8888. I don't know what that 888 is. Clicks. Bucket, now right, left, you were to click okay, the door wait. 20 times. Right, I would left, say that's okay. the kind of effort the war. As bucket. Stanley lifted his bucket, he felt a connection to all buckets everywhere. This adventure, right, he decided, left. was for all of them. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly right. to his... This was not the correct way left. to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the Sweet place to years. be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. No. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back. And so the two of them detoured uh, through the maintenance one. section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Wait, which one is this? Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place a <laughs> We care about you, Stanley. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, <laughs> Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. No, don't Yes, I know I'm the bucket. one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time no. with it. Don't you My want another bucket. story involving the Adventure Line? We could make My the adventure bucket. line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. What? Wee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great oh. jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. So Let's funny. do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. No. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. <laughs> I think it'll make a the wonderful bucket. new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part Ooh. of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Not my bucket Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying Can't buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity uh. and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. <sighs> Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoops.
You won't be missed. My bucket. Wait, do I go and try to destroy the bucket then? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. What you new mysteries lay in store for our bucket-loving oh. heroes today? Let's find out. I want to see what happens if I do. Stan. What, what is the settings world champion? Am I supposed to like put everything like this? They clutched the bucket tight. No. Set all the each number? Wait, every button? doesn't do anything what it didn't give me achievement you have to set everything to every possible position I have to wait 10 minutes no I don't you mean like this Slide the sliders all the way, press all of them. But why? This. I did nothing is happening. This. Okay. Bit to his chest and Whatever. entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge I'm was simply the I'm not getting every to number. And here it was. Had the bucket Wait, I have to get every number? Achievements list. No, I didn't get it. Zero to one hundred. You want me to do like every number, like, huh? One, one, two, three, four. F Fuck it. Out to be correct, was this better? No. Arrow keys, you're so smart. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, I still didn't get it. Are you debating me again? Mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. 
to go back to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to, to the all opposite of them. door. Fuck, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I feel like you're just dating me again. <laughs> Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I, I knew you'd no find trust. this place eventually. Trust is You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we huh. care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure characters. Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this Stop bucket making me that they've never seen minutes. before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you one, want another one, story one, involving the, one, the adventure one, line? One, one, we could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's... Wait, where are the subtitles, though? What the fans... <laughs> Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. <laughs> now this is what the okay. Stanley Parable is all okay. about. Don't okay. you remember all Just those great jokes Danny. from the original dialogue? Oh, also, here. Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give okay. something. Don't this you get it, it, Stanley? Wait, can we go We here? need to get rid no, of the can... bucket. Can we go That's here? why I'm very proud to why introduce a brand new then? character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Who we'll see Destroyer 3000? I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so huh? much personality that to me, What's it already that? feels as though it's been part of the cast what? all along. Don't you agree? Okay. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Something? Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're it ready. It was nice knowing your bucket. Wait, I can't put it in. Now listen to me. I can't put it's it in. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy what? your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. I can't put it that in. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket it Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely see. loaded with complexity and nuance that it's Bucket really jump. like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for <laughs> after this. Okay, the Bucket time. Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have... What if I go there alone? Is it gonna be different or is it still All of his co workers same? were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Different? Let's see. Well, if you go to when the Stanley table, came to a the set of two open doors, bucket. this was not the correct way to Stanley the meeting room, room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Wait, Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee okay. lounge first, just to Wait, admire which it. one is done? Stanley felt lightheaded. Is that the one next to the... Butterflies in his stomach. But like eager to get back room? to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Like over here, you mean? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shall so far off the You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was yeah? all just in Stanley's head. 
I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be yeah, in the main character's the imagination, window, the you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. <laughs> sad. That was fast. Okay, now let's A soft try. wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. Go along and if again. it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Weather. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here it's, um, left. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 Are you not fucking the right. kidding me? Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly, oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, uh. Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 we just, we just have to uh, get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Man. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley well, decided to I go think to the I meeting got... room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Everything possible. I guess, kind of. I'm super like tired now, and I want to eat. Keep going. Keep going. Spaceship? No. I didn't have that. It's not the same. Room. This ending isn't over yet? Wait, what? Where do I go then? When Stanley... Wait. Oh. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Oh. Let's find the story. Where do we go? The back rooms. Where the fuck I am? Where is the end? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? 
Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Ah. Uh All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No bucket. Ah. Uh okay, yep. It's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering broke this the wrong. game. It's possible the story is what? back where we just came from. Ooh. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? No bucket much. Go back. What have I missed? Huh? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, <laughs> let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Uh-huh. Um... Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Where Do you remember, Stanley? Am? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work. Finally, but it really I've paid been off. waiting so, for like five job. hours to win. Finally. Oh no, no, I don't feel uh, right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair I've been and square, for five and this was not I've one been of those for situations. Five hours. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. What the fuck? All right. I've got a the solution. The Stanley this Parable time, to make 7 sure we Adventure get lost, Line. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Let's Just go. follow the line. How simple is that? This ending. I remember something like this. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story oh of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving I, I forward, know. are we implying uh, a journey such that a destination is inevitably like... conjured into being via the very manifestation uh... of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to I'm lighten the mood. getting motion sick. Jesus! Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, no. No, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after uh, everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. What the fuck? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh. Adventures. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Uh... What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, <laughs> I'm ready for it. Adventure time. Time, time, time. Help. Help. Let 
me out. Oh. Oh no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination Walking corresponds squares. with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer mm. is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right mm. is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, mm. Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Mm. <laughs> Oh, the confusion oh. ending. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? That's really how the all this The reader is gone after a long time. Stanley dies. Oh. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, uh. this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time to stop. Uh. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Not even Will 20 someone minutes. come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination yeah. or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and ends. not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Wait, 18 well, hours? In the meantime, if you... Uh, oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's loud. Okay. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, Bucket he would never back. be alone ever again. Did I take it or not? Bucket is back. I think I'm supposed to take it? Now this, Stanley thought to himself, this is a bucket. And indeed it was. Ah, it's over the confusion. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest, and entered the door on his left. New content and settings room? I've been to new content. Where is the settings room? Take bucket to boss room, but exit before the doors shut before you. True. Let's go. Still no Stop one was with here. your 20 minutes. Stanley needed That's the bucket's so warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Boss's office. Stepping in. <laughs> Wait, what now? What now? Not 
not waiting 20 minutes. Only 10 minutes. Keep it. What? Oh? No doors? The line. Uh, hello? Oh? Oh? You are now leaving. Finally. Walking circles? Surely I'm not. Oh wait, the number changed. And it's fucking dark. Launch Bay Escape Hello? Bucket. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, yes, my dear Bucket. We spent so much time together. We went through so much, but now I'm gonna. What? I'm gonna put you here and. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> Bucket Chan! No! Goodbye, Bucket Chan. <laughs> Please send me letters. Oh! The All room of his co workers blue. were gone. What and the bug mean? is gone too. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Yeah. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Legendary sex scene. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Now what? Coming now to a staircase, to Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's up office. Over and over? Are you trolling? No, it's rat school. I don't trust anyone, especially you. What am I supposed to do? I I think I've seen the one without the bucket, so I I don't think there's a need to do that. Do that for twenty minutes. I'm fucking done, dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop the stream here. Ah. Uh... 
Right, it was nice. I like the bucket arc. Very, very uh, cute and gauge. <laughs> I think I unlocked everything pretty much. I hope. But yeah, thank you guys for being here today. I'm gonna go rest and get something to eat, and I'll come back tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bucket Chan. <laughs> uh, have a nice day, everyone. Thank you for everything. <laughs>